Hi guys. Unafaa ujifunike hivi alafu nikisema it's easy sasa uji. Tuko unveil. Tuko fungue hivi kwa ribbon. Guys, guess who's here? Tada! <laughs> Hi, Mudoni. Hi, this is Lillian. Fit sana. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, Lillian is my good friend. We are such good friends. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. And she came to visit me with shopping, you guys. When you come to my place, when you're shopping, <laughs> it's bad manners to show up in people's houses yeah. empty-handed. Yes. Yeah. Abu, you introduce. So, uh, my name is Lillian. Mudoni is my very good friend, one of my closest friends. A lot of people called me or call me Nzisa. Nzisa, yeah. karibu sana. Mm -hmm. You're a very big supporter of this YouTube channel. Yes. Actually, of all my friends, you're the, my biggest support. I love it and I watch it mm -hmm. and I learn a lot from it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just telling you that because you're my friend. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of value adding content um, that um, I've applied into my life as well. Thank you. So, uh, what's your favorite episode on this channel? My favorite episode is loving that inner child. That is my favorite topic of all time. Yeah. When you said that um, all of us were hurt in one way or the other as children, and when we grow up, we need to go back and love that little girl that was hurt, talk to her, validate her, tell her she's beautiful, tell her it's going to be okay, give her a hug, be nice to her. That conversation was very timely for me. And I've applied that, and and I'm loving myself. I'm feeling so nice lately. I keep telling you that. Yes. Oh, <laughs> thank you. And you look beautiful. Thank you. And you're always looking beautiful. Really. <laughs> it's yeah. the glow. It's the happiness. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I didn't always feel beautiful, and you know that. Mm, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. We come from a place of darkness. <laughs> we you know? do. But yeah. We're over that. We're finding ourselves. We're yes. loving ourselves mm. more. And I think of all my friends, you're the person I connect more especially in regards to emotional and mental wellness mm -hmm. because we come I come from a place where I didn't love myself where I didn't value myself where I didn't know how to be really be a woman of value mm -hmm. and I think we connect like that we do yes and we have long conversations about things that we can totally relate to she says things and I'm like I feel like you're talking to me and I say things and she's like I felt like that as well so yeah, very nice, very cool. Okay, welcome. Thank you. You can feel at home. I am yeah, feeling at home. <laughs> yeah, so you've been a public figure for a long time. Yes. How long? <laughs> like how many years? Uh, so I started working yeah. when I was 21. Mm -hmm. and like on TV? On TV, yes. Mm -hmm. I was literally straight. Actually, I was still in campus. And it's been... It's been a journey. I'm not going to tell you how long because mm -hmm. now you're going to do the math. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been quite a journey. It's yes. been, I mean, it's been KTN and then Citizen and yeah, hopefully, I don't know where else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today we're talking about dating as a public figure because trust, trust me, you guys, it's different. Wow. It's not the same. <laughs> yeah. It's not the same. So that's what we're talking about. Yeah. So are you in the market? Well, am I in the market? I'm a lover. I love love. I believe in love. I believe in relationships. I don't believe in solitude in terms of not being in, with someone in your life. So I'm I'm such a lover. So am I in the market? Mm. Like, are you single? <laughs> Like, are you single? And if you're single, are you single and searching? I am so into someone right now. Okay, nice, yeah. nice. So, oh, yeah. nice answer. <laughs> yeah. So, dating as a public figure. Yeah. How is it like? Because sometimes people don't understand. Mm -hmm. And especially if you're a woman and you're kind of powerful, you're in a position of power or uh, you're famous, sometimes there is a, a disconnect with being there and being in a happy relationship. I don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about today. Yeah. So how was dating like before you went in the screens? Dating before I went to the screens was totally different. First of all, I'm... I'm, I'm Sometimes I'm, you don't Okay. I'm one of those people who has been... I'm, I'm always in long-term relationships. I don't do flings. So I think I only had maybe two. <laughs> I know that's a lot. Not two flings, oh. two relationships, <laughs> okay. serious ones. Mm -hmm. And this is, and I'm that's talking about from when I was younger to now transitioning into my, you know, late teenagehood. And so that was, that was different. I mean, those were 
relationships that were basically you know you meet someone you like each other mm -hmm. you bond at a level of what you have in common um, you do you know the usual fun stuff people do yeah. things changed after the fame mm -hmm. how did things change like how for instance mm -hmm. um let me tell you how i met um my ex one of my well, somebody who was very, very close to me and who actually we ended up with for a long time. I was straight out of a bulletin. And at that time, I was at KTN. <laughs> and then a friend of mine who I worked with at the time, she knows herself. She told me, there's this guy called Moses who has told me he wants your number. And I told her, please, forget it. No, who is that? Why, why is he asking for my number? Anyway, fast forward. I'm in Carnival with my colleague. We've gone for, I think it was rock night. It was a Wednesday. And then this guy walks up to me and he tells me, you babe, I asked you for, I asked your friend for your number. I saw you on the screen. I think you're very beautiful. I like you. I want to date you. And in fact, I'm going to marry you. No, that's Moses. <laughs> that's Moses. <laughs> uh -huh. So anyway, yeah. uh -huh. fast forward, relationships change because the first interaction people have, most people have it, especially in this country, mm -hmm. with um, somebody that's on the screen is on TV. Yes. So, yeah. I mean, for them, it's, I like that person. So you don't know me. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I like. So it might be physical because, I mean, what more? Or maybe, I don't know, what more do you know about me after seeing me on TV? Perhaps how I interact with my guests? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But your first interaction with me is on the screen. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a lot of depth in that and a lot of, I don't know, it's, it's just too... Yeah. <sighs> Yes, I know. I I know what you what you mean when you say that because even for me, I felt people see you on TV. Mm. They want that girl on TV. Yes. But then now you're you know there's TV life and there's normal life like your real life, mm -hmm. and you know there's a difference. Yes. Then when someone gets to know what you look like in the morning, <laughs> <laughs> what you look wow. like in the morning, or yeah. when you are at your worst, like they they can't picture you like that. Like that's not the woman they wanted from the mm. beginning. And I feel like uh, for the longest time. Um, I felt like it was more of a trophy sort of approach to relationships with people who reached out. Mm -hmm. It was more about, okay, so this babe is on TV. I want to take you out. On. So we never like really had closed door moments where it would always have to be somewhere where there are people, where we're being seen, where we're... So I always felt like there was a trophy element to it and, and it was never comfortable for me, to be quite honest. I'm actually... Mm, an introvert. A lot of people think I'm an extrovert. Well, I'm an extrovert with some people, but on a one-on-one on -one -on -one basis. But I'm not a crowd people. I have social anxiety. I don't really like being out in big crowds unless I'm in a very safe space with people I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I want you to talk about the attention that comes with being in the media, especially because you're a primetime news anchor. Like most people know who you are and then the glam and you know you're Lillian and all that. Yes. So talk about <laughs> the attention because for me, mm -hmm. Uh, I used to get attention from fans, but not people who are really wanted something really serious with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how has it been like for you? Um, well, for me as well, I think I think that's true. Um, and and when you look at, for instance, my interactions, and not only, by the way, with guys, because relationships could also be females. There are people who basically want to be in your life because of that tag. <clears throat> and I, I, I mean this in the most humble way. Yeah. Um, it's it's usually very temporary. Mm -hmm. um, so it's I think it's a thing that I learned with time to be very, very wary about and to be on the lookout. And so I started guarding my space as well. What, what's temporary? Temporary in terms of relationships. Um, yeah, yeah. And I'm saying not necessarily men, even girlfriends to some extent. Yeah. Because what are we doing? Um, where's the substance in our in our relationship? Is our relationship based on going out for for drinks, perhaps? Is our relationship based on deep conversations? Is our relationship based on lunches? What do we really share? A lot of times, my relationships were always about the fun side of things. Yeah. And so I would find myself in very um, lonely moments when I would be going through stuff because it's, I mean... It's it's all about the good times, yeah, party, yeah. have fun, go out, you know, be seen out there, attend events. Mm. So yeah, yeah, mm. like men want to be called Charlie Lillian. Not necessarily. <laughs> 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 go 
no, 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 will publicly display you out there because they know what they're getting out of that. And I dated someone like that. Mm -hmm. I thought this person really likes, you know, uh, being pictured in public places with me because he's really so proud of me. But eventually, I found out that it was really adding to his benefit for one or two reasons, which I don't want to get into, mm -hmm. but he knew what he was doing. Yeah. And what one go in because of something that he wanted to get out of that. Okay, is it someone that we know? <laughs> who have you who have you seen me anyway no let me not let me not even go there okay. well maybe you know him maybe you don't mm. but yeah there's someone i used to be seen with a mm. lot yeah mm. um what kind of dating mistakes mm. did you make before realizing wait these guys are not yeah. in it mm. for Date the real me you know dating mistakes i've made is number one talking too much about my previous say experiences um, don't forget at the end of the day that Mudoni, I'm on TV. So I'm not just, truthfully, I'm not just anybody else. So are you in my life forever? What is this I'm opening up to you about my life? Why am I telling you such intimate things about my life? And yet, you know, we, we really never know what the future holds. So you've not put a ring on my finger, right? We're dating perhaps. Why am I telling you such intimate details about my life? That has been used against me a lot and things that I've, I've i've done wrong talking too much about personal details that really i mean there are some little bits of yourself that you should protect number two trusting trusting and trusting too much trusting too much that has left me in a lot of trouble um, it's like you, you trust too soon. I just trust too soon. I, I am, I feel like I am a late bloomer. So I tend to believe what people say because I don't lie often. Okay, at least I don't think I do. <laughs> okay. I don't. I, yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I really. I, I mean, I detest lies, and I don't want to be the person that I expect. That I don't, I mean, I don't want to be the type of person that I don't expect other people to be. So, uh, anyway, so trusting too easily. Um, and, you know, also when you have red flags, um, you're asking questions around someone perhaps who is in your life who is very slippery around their movements. And they're not consistent about um, when it is that they see you. They ghost you. I ghosting much at At some point I got used to it, but I, ah. You, yeah. So you ask this person, and, and, and you know, I've, I've, and, and you know, people will not believe that there are a lot of women out there who have perhaps dated married guys and not known that these people are married, mm -hmm. because there are married guys out there who say, "No, I'm not married. I'm separated." But they very well know mm -hmm. that uh, they are still. So just trusting too easily when your your instincts tell you something is not right. It usually is not right. So mm -hmm. that, that trust. Um, <coughs> issue for me, mm -hmm. yes, big mistake. Mm -hmm. And I think apart from that, just I guess being overly available. Um, you know, you need to. I was telling a friend of mine today on my way here. You need to learn to spend time alone, spend time with other people. Don't over, over. What is it called? Like, don't be overly available. Your partner will either get bored you're or... Available. Yeah, you're just there. You're just <laughs> yeah. there all the time. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not so healthy. I'm not saying don't spend time. But I've also... I have, I've had that habit of being a bit clingy. So if you're in my life as a guy, then it's all about you. Mm -hmm. I have a habit of forgetting other people and other things. So that hasn't gone too well for me mm -hmm. a lot of times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what is it that... People do not understand in regards to dating when you're a public figure. What people don't understand is that you're human. At the end of the day, you have feelings, you have insecurities. Um, you want to let your hair down and just be the girl next door. You want to be in your dera and chill without your makeup. With your guy, if you're in a relationship, and yes. let him take you as that person. 
it's not always about the glam. Yeah. And and yeah, people don't understand that. And people also don't understand that it's not as easy to mingle. So don't tell me to come, say, to a random place where you're with people I don't know and expect me to just fit in. Okay. It gets uncomfortable. It gets weird. There are people who are not pleasant. Some people are very nice, but there are other people who can... Because everyone has an opinion, right? So there are people who... Anyway, so I'm just saying, um, it's it's not the easiest life. It is... Yeah. Sometimes I say it's just a job. It's just, it just happens to Thank be you. out mm -hmm. here in the public. Mm -hmm. And I also say, we're beautiful, yes? Let me start feeling myself. <laughs> we're pretty, but it's just a cover. It there is. There's more to someone than what you see. Yeah, it is. So there's what, a soul, yeah. there's a sister, there's a mother. Yes. There is... You know, there's just... There's a little girl in there who just wants... To be pampered. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so what's your type when it comes to guys? My type? Yeah. Am I, am I talking about looks or about behavior? Generally. Generally. If you want to Okay, go first there, of all, I'm tall. So you know yeah. we're tall babes, yeah? Yes, we're tall. We are. <laughs> Yeah. Not so tall, but we're tall. Yeah, we're tall. Yeah. yeah. So, of course, I like tall guys. Mm -hmm. I like a sense of humor. I like a guy that can make me really, really laugh. And because I tear, I, I love laughing. Yeah, you're a happy baby. <laughs> you're always really so happy. You always laugh. I all love the a time. guy that's spontaneous. Mm -hmm. I love road trips. I love traveling. You know, I'm so big on local travel. Yeah. So, I like uh, people who appreciate that. I like people who want to spend time with me. I like consistency in terms of calling and checking up on me. I'd like to be able to call you and know that um, I won't feel like I'm bothering you. I used to date a guy who, I don't know what he was programming me to be, but he would never pick my call. He would always call me back. I hate those words. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's an element of control. It is control. Yeah. Like, so, like, I'm like, 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 you can't call them, but they can call you whenever they yes, want. Yes, thank you. Yeah. And you would always call back, even immediately. Yes. So I just, I, yeah, I like a friend. I, I would like to have a friend before a lover. It's so important. It's so important that we be able to laugh together. Yeah be easy around each other of course i love intelligence yeah. i love somebody who knows more than i do so um yeah okay. somebody who can who can shape my my thoughts and tell me something i didn't know yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would you like him to be rich <laughs> i'm just messing with you <laughs> okay of course you don't want someone you don't want someone you want someone who, who you will respect so i have right? dated wealthy I have dated. In fact, I don't even like that tag. The, rich so, men, rich yeah, and wealthy. I've I've dated I've dated a very wealthy person previously, and I think that even to some extent um, might have ruined my chances with people later. Because you see, everybody assumes that this babe is perhaps used to the finer things in life, mm -hmm. and she wants a certain type of guy. Nobody doesn't <clears throat> mind a little bit of money from their guy here and there. But what I will say is. I want somebody who has enough for us <laughs> and somebody who um, is, of course, ambitious enough to grow to even greater levels in terms of wealth acquisition. Because I came to realize that, um, yeah, some of these money guys have a lot of bibs also in the picture. So. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Well said. Yeah, mm. and mm. and yeah, for for some reason, I thought I think uh, perhaps um, and that's unfortunate. They they get a lot of attention, so it's never gonna be a very and not everybody. There are wealthy guys out there who are so sweet and who are so yes. loyal and faithful. Yeah. I also realized the guys for chopping money like this, the ones for shiny yeah. things, they they usually hiding something, hiding Maybe something, their yes, or their baby mamas or just. Yes, Singular. I love that. Like yes. they have something to hide, so when I could have shininess with the diamonds and all that, mm -hmm. and then when you come to realize, yeah, and yeah. and 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 nobody that that has worked hard for their money is so quick to spend it on everybody. So if I'm your person, I will know that yes, this is my person. He has money. He spends it on me. But not carelessly. But those, yes, chop my money types usually have like a train of other babes behind them and have experienced such types. So now I'm just saying, let me just get a nice guy who can take me for dinner once in a while. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. I'm a pianist. So, <laughs> hey, your SMS in a Have lunch, babe. Yes. 
okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice also because you also you also you also have made your money. You yeah. also don't want someone to come and suck. Thank you. To suck your everything yeah. and to take advantage of you with yeah. your car all over. <laughs> Okay, so um, you know the other ladies and other small, small. I don't, I don't want to call them girls. Like, like young women mm-hmm. are starting their uh, careers in the media as influencers and famous coming and all that. What's the best piece of advice you would mm-hmm. tell them? You'd give them? Yeah, I mean, fame comes with a price. Your life will never be the same. So, uh, for instance, if somebody asked me uh, what I didn't know about fame before i'm telling you i have a track load of stories your life will never be the same once yes it once goes out the window yeah it's no longer your life people have an opinion you are accountable uh you should be responsible for your actions i've been fortunate that um i have learned through my mistakes i have learned and i've also had people that haven't been too hard on me when i've made those mistakes so i've learned along the way it would be very nice um for other people who are coming into this industry to get mentors because I didn't have that, by the way. I did not have a mentor. I just <laughs> dived into this thing. I was a small girl with money, living in my mother's house, driving my mother's car. So I made a lot of mistakes. I feel like I grew up too early. And uh, so now I'm trying to not clean up those mistakes, but just, you know, learn from them and do better. And Yeah. So get a mentor. I'll say get a mentor because fame is not for the faint-hearted. It can break you or it can make you. Yeah. It has broken many. Yeah. Yeah. This career also helped me um, learn to be strong because when that clock hits nine, Mothoni, whatever it is you're going through, you're programmed, you're like a robot. You have to smile, you have to sit up, yeah. and your issues are not Kenyan's issues. So you have to just learn that for that one hour or two hours, you have to put all that behind you. It's, it's not a very good thing because yeah. you get a lot of baggage. Um, and that's why I very, 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 very happily agree to the fact that therapy is important. And it's therapy doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you. Yes, it just means you, you need, you yeah. need to just... Some, some of us have so much going on, but we're expected to just show up and deliver. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I mean, you can imagine... The same things guys go through are the same things we go through, but we have to smile. I say good evening. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll stop here. We have other episodes coming up with Lillian, you guys. Uh, I'm so happy you decided to do this. I know you don't do lots of these interviews, yeah. but thank you so much. You're my friend and I love your content. So I said, let me share a little bit of my story with you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's meet down at the comment section. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.